Hello folks, today I'm showing how I set up and sew some thick leather for a holster. This is pretty wet for me, but this is two layers, Herman Oaks, nine, 10 ounce veg tan that I have hand dyed. My own mixture of fibings dye to get a black type color. It's actually very dark brown. This will eventually be for a Glock. Now, these are the needles. I'm starting with my setup. So these are the needles that I'm using. It's very important that you choose the right needle. I'm using a size 138 thread. This is an olive green bonded polyester thread. And I wanna make sure to start by making sure my bobbin is going to be set correctly. So I'm gonna pull it over, turn my foot, and I'm going to try to pull up my bobbin thread, making sure that my timing was set right to begin with. Crank is at 12. The wing was at 3. Pulled up the bobbin thread. Now when I'm at 12 and set, it should be easy to pull the thread. A little bit of drag. Now we'll begin. Now, I have my presser foot set actually pretty hard. A lot of people don't like to do that with heavier leathers, but I do because it ends up preventing the material from getting hung up as the needle is coming back up. So I'm still gonna have to hold it down, however, because these springs aren't quite strong enough. I want that first stitch to land exactly where it belongs. And the first handful can be a little bit stiff to get moving. And then I'm going to set this one because it ended up short. That's okay. This is where I'll do a back stitch on the next one. This is because that's where the pressure is on the trigger guard. I like there to be plenty of thread right there. I'm just following my guideline nice and slow. If you've ever hand stitched a holster, this is like lightning speed compared to that. If you hear that click as it's coming back up, but that's what I'm listening for. It's actually your bobbin thread popping back up through the, the bottom. This click here, that little clunk, that click right there. It's an important sound to listen for. When you're sewing harder leather, especially, you won't hear it as much on softer materials. Or if you're moving very slow. Sometimes you won't hear it. Try to keep my hands out of the way. Best I can, anyway. Now, I use a tremendous amount of adhesive on these, so my needles really like to stick. So it's kind of hard for me to do this sometimes. This is always where it gets hard. You get in the corner, you have this folded piece over here that's wanting to run into your foot, so you need to pay attention to how that's going. This is where I'll push it down. I force it around a little because I'm not wet forming it yet. You can always fix that if you give it a little bit of shape. give a shout out to Mainly Acres. That guy taught us a lot. Anybody that uses patchers, anybody in the patcher community, his videos have shown everybody how to run these things and we've maybe improved in some ways but he is kind of the man, the myth, and the legend. So we're being honest, this is about the same as sewing a tire. 
Some of the stitches are tough too. It's not always going to be super smooth and simple. If you pre-punch, it will be. You can get away with a lot more if you pre-punch your holes. And it will run a lot smoother. Uh, I'm just kind of a production person, so I could... Quality is important, but once you figure out the happy medium, and you can do speed and quality at the same time, i.e. only doing this once, I will prefer to do it that way. Okay. the finished product you'll see my walking feet all over the place most people would be terrified but this is again going to be wet formed as soon as this gets wet those go away as you can tell on this side all I did was get it wet I really haven't formed it yet it's going to get wet again when it gets the moisture it'll swell up those foot marks are mostly gone you almost can't see them the light is making it appear very prominent um, but yeah, the next step will be pulling these threads through, if possible. And if they get hung up, sometimes you need to grab a, a little needle and pull the tail of your threads through. Sometimes you get lucky and you don't have to. And there we go. That's how I stitch my holsters. See you later, guys.